Hey guys, Jason Guyman here with another helpful tip for you today. So today's question was uh, how to get a downstreamer set up and tight and not leaking. So we have a downstreamer here. First thing we want to do is, is I always put two rolls of tape in here. I'll put a link of a video of how to do it. The next thing you want to do is, is you want to make sure the flow is right. With the check valve, if this is backwards, it will not flow right. So the next thing I do is I screw this on there like so. Now, let me move the camera down here a little bit. And we can get some eyes here. So what I'm, I always do is I take an a, um, inch wrench from my here and I go here. Now, I can go here and get a wrench for that, but I find it better if I tighten it this way. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll put it right here in a uh, holder here, and then I just tighten this up. Now, be careful with this so if you're not pulling up, you don't knock a tooth out. I have done that. It hurts. Um, it don't feel good. You gotta go spend lots of money on a dentist. That's how I tighten these up. And I get them tight and they don't leak. Um, but instead of putting a wrench on here and taking a chance of breaking the little nipple off, I just put one here and one on the uh, right here and tighten it that way. Um, that's the best way I've found to get them tight enough and that they don't leak. And again, you wanna make sure your flow is right. So we have water coming in this way and it's going through with the check ball valve. What it looks like a check ball valve, it's actually not. Here, the reason why we do this for is so that um, we can tighten them up, make sure they're super tight and that. Um, reason why we put the quick connects on them is so that way we can put them, um, put a spare in the truck and our guys have a, a spare. Since we run four trucks, this is how we make sure that they don't break down for a super simple fix of a downstreamer. Um, uh, this downstreamer is a 2.3, which is a 5.8 gallon, 5 to 8 gallon a minute downstreamer. Um, hope that helps you out. If you have any more questions, um, please ask below and I'll get to them and answer them for you. Thank you and have a great day.